This is an update on the Ride One Up Core 5 that I bought. I think it was back in February or March. Anyway, I now have 1,021.9 miles. And today I rode uh, just over 28. I don't know if you can see that. It's a lot of reflection here. There it is. Anyway, um, I'm only riding now about once a week. I kind of use it to go to Santa Barbara uh, there and back, about 28 miles. Kind of spoil myself. And I ride my road bike. This is just the routine now. The road bike I ride about twice a week. You know, you, you get a more honest workout, actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You know, this crazy thing. Look here, I got two bars left. Almost 30 miles. And I was riding a lot at 3, 4, and 5. So, uh, one thing I've kind of refined, too, though, to conserve your battery is when I see a rough spot in the road, rough road, or some traffic, you know, I just stop pedaling. And stop pedaling ahead of the stop sign. Just let her roll. And even if you're on four or five, you're not using the battery with just coasting. So kind of play, play that game where you just back off and let it coast a little ways and then engage again with your four or five level. And you can get just almost the same performance and, and, and yet increase your range. And just be easier on yourself if you just uh, slack off a little bit on the pedaling and let uh, inertia move you along. So, you know, I am impressed here with two bars. I could probably go another uh, 20 miles. could probably get up in the 50-mile range uh, at, at good speed. So... Anyway, um, I, I did do some video recording today, and I just wanted, somebody thought I was imparting good tips, but I don't know about that. But if I were to add to these tips, uh, you can't let yourself get distracted by a camera. You know, you're trying to do a video and thinking about that YouTube video, and, and you forget about riding the bike. You know, you've always got to be focused 100% on riding your bike and all these other things are secondary. In fact, I, I hit some bumps going down Anacapa Street and this thing flipped out and suddenly, and I have to admit, I took my hand off and trying to fix that. I mean, those are all, you know, increasing your chances of having a problem, uh, a distraction, but, um, you know, I handle it okay, but uh, just... Be aware of those things and uh, don't get distracted. You know, stay focused on riding the bike. That's the safest thing. And then the other tip I would say is we all have different skill levels and those skill levels can change. You know, you can get stale uh, or you can get rusty if you haven't been doing something for a while. And as I get older, you know, I have to keep that in mind, you know, reaction time. So stay within your, you know, the Clint Eastwood line. I guess a man's got to know his limitations. And that applies uh, to riding a bike or anything anything else you, you do in life. And the other thing is, I'm not particularly a religious man, but uh, I'm not a, a, an atheist either. And I, I pray, you know, sometimes I'll just stay, especially if I'm going to be taking uh taking this out for a bike ride i just pray I don't hurt anybody i don't hurt myself you know it's just at least you raise your level of consciousness and how can it hurt to have the gods on your side <laughs> i i'm laughing but uh, you know i mean it, it does it's it doesn't mean you won't get killed or hurt somebody either you know it, it, prayer doesn't 
doesn't mean you've got a, a free pass, you know. It just, uh, again, probably more the consciousness raising and the sincerity of your mission, you know, that you really genuinely want to be careful and not hurt anybody or hurt yourself. So, so I do that periodically. Sometimes I don't do it, but it's something, uh, you know, that can't hurt. And uh, so I won't go on too long. Uh, I will say I changed out the front brake pads at 900 miles. And that's because I had been adjusting them. And you can look this up. I won't go into it. But, you know, I've done caliper brakes on road bikes. And I was all intimidated by this thing. And yet it was like the stupidest easy thing I've ever done was to replace those brake pads. And, uh, you know, I have tools and I have some mechanical skills. So it really wasn't too difficult. And the brake pad, turns out, was just kind of worn a little bit unevenly on just one of the brake pads. And I even saved them. They, they still had more mileage left in them. And it just was wearing down slightly unevenly. But that means you're going to be getting down to the metal but uh, you know there's other videos online I took some pictures I was going to do a video about changing the brake but I never got around to it except I'll just say now that it wasn't at all difficult uh, and it just basically was like remove a cotter pin and you know and then change them it was it was very easy so, and now the rear brake, I've, I don't think I've ever even adjusted it. You can see, this is where I like them to be. I hope you can see, hope you can see what I'm doing. I like them fairly, uh, to engage fairly early. I don't like them to go all the way to the, to the handlebars, but some people like that, you know, they like having, uh, you know, so they won't stop too suddenly but that's where I like it and I can't think of anything else I don't want to blah 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 I'm kind of uh, like I said I, I just love the bike and for me I'm riding at least 100 miles a week combined probably more probably 100 probably maybe even 150 I have a beach cruiser bike that I ride almost every day just a few miles because it's just ideal for cruising you know it's a three-speed Electra with wide handlebars and 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 two I think they're 24 inch tires by 2.2 inch so uh, you know very comfortable ride and enjoyable and they're they're all a different experience uh, this one is just kind of fun to do. This is kind of a thrill bike, fun, speed, without a whole lot of effort, and I like that. But <clears throat> the road bike, it's a titanium Moto I bought it in 2019 for a couple thousand. It's Ultegra level, 11 speed. It's really a terrific bike. I've done videos you can find on YouTube about, about how much I like that bike. And it, believe it or not, it's actually less jarring than riding this stiff bike, even though it's got lower pressure in the tires. But I was going down Anacapa today, and it's, like I said, in fact, some of my video may be, I gotta tighten this, some of the videos may, the camera went all the way down like that. So, <clears throat> But man, you hit a bump on this thing, you better be ready for it. I mean, the, the Motobacon road bike was more forgiving than this one when you hit a bump at speed. So anyway, that's all. Thank you.